Welcome to MET 106. In this video, we will consider two ways to adjust scale in a SOLIDWORKS two-dimensional drawing. As you see here, I have an assembly that I'm ready to create a drawing for. So I'm going to click on the New button and select a drawing template. The assembly I had open appears here, ready to insert into the drawing. So I'll hit the Next button and we'll just simply put in an isometric view. If you look in the Drawing View 1 interface dialog box and you scroll down until you see the section on Scale, you notice there are two ways to do the scale. Use Sheet Scale or use Custom Scale. I always try to use the Sheet Scale for my first drawing view on the sheet. One of the reasons is that I have my template adjusted to always reflect the sheet scale in the scale section of the title block. So let's leave this view set to sheet scale. If I want to change the sheet scale, I find the tab for the sheet near the bottom of the screen. I right click and go to properties and then I can change the sheet scale accordingly. Once I've chosen a new scale, I'm going to try 2 to 3. I apply changes. Notice it got a little bit bigger. And notice that my title block has updated accordingly. Now let's put in another view, perhaps this time an exploded view, and we will use a different scale. So I'm going to the View Layout tab in my ribbon, and I'm hitting Model View. Again, there's my assembly. I'm going to hit the Next button. This time I'm going to show in the exploded or model break state. We'll leave it isometric, and I'll put it over here. Notice it's a little big. It runs into my revision table and a little bit into my title block. So now if I change the sheet scale, it would change both of these views. I want to be able to change this view independently of this view. So what I can do now is select the Use Custom Scale button and find a scale that fits a little bit better. If I don't see the scale I want listed in this drop-down selection, simply move the slider bar all the way to the top and I can select User Defined and type any scale I want. Remember, scales are always entered as a numerical value, a colon, then another numerical value. So I'm going to type 1, colon, 3, and hit Enter. Notice I now have a scale that fits much better for my drawing. So that's all I wanted to show in this video. We'll end here, and thank you for your attention.